Those numbers are why so many nursing homes are actually competing with each other for PPE more right now than they were at the start of the pandemic. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald joins us and Hannah, we know there are some dangerous shortages of PPE right now. Yeah, some are running critically low on some of those items we've been talking about since the very beginning, including N95 masks, surgical masks, and gowns. This map shows where in the country some of these shortages are, and Tennessee pops up in almost every category. And what's to blame in this report? That competition with other industries. A public interest research group put this together after grabbing data that was originally sent to the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid. It concluded that seven months into this pandemic, 20% of nursing homes in the United States lack the PPE needed. It found one in five facilities are dangerously low on one or more items and almost half didn't have a one week supply of at least one type of PPE that can be things like gloves and hand sanitizer too. In the report, Tennessee is listed as worse off than the national average when it comes to PPE available for nursing homes. And the shortages became most noticeable this summer when restaurants and businesses reopened and those employees in those businesses started to require PPE to operate safely. Another reason, in-person doctor's appointments have started up again and so have elective surgeries. Live at the state capitol this morning, I'm Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.